Just going to do a quick video on soldering these EC5 terminals. I've done a video before, but um, this will make it things a little bit easier. There is apparently two types of these covers. One that, um, after you've soldered the terminal on, slips in from behind, and this type comes. Uh, this type is the other way. It pushes in this way, which is a little bit better if your wires are short. There's just nowhere to. You know, if it's not short enough to fit this in behind and away from the heat of that. Make sure you can clean your, your soldering iron. So I've just got a, uh, I'd normally use a, you know, a kitchen sponge or whatever. This is just a um, same sort of thing, but you know, steel wool, doesn't matter, wet. Um, a hot enough soldering iron. And you just need to drill a hole in, in a piece of wood or hold um, your terminal that way. So. I'm going to put this on here. I've already heated up my iron. <clears throat> First thing is to make sure that the like most um, no speed controllers, the wires are already pre-tinned, which means they're probably not going to be perfectly round, and they're probably not going to fit into there. So you want to take care of that bit first. So all I need to do is just heat it up and soften the solder and make it round because I don't want to be doing this after I've cleaned my iron. Could be better. It's actually a little bit better if I, if I was to take a little bit more off of there as well, uh, more of the casing off for when I push it in. But yeah, I might just do that. Not too much, I just want to be able to get, when I'm pushing it in, um, I just want to be able to get to the to the wire part and not be pushing on this part here. That's more for neatness I guess, it's not that crucial but you might as well do it properly. Alright, so, where'd my terminal go? Alright, so that pops in there, so now I'll just fix the other one up. Okay. All right. So now um, I want to heat up the outside of this uh, terminal, but I don't want to get any solder on that ridge there, or else it'll never click in to this. So I've got to make sure this is perfectly clean because it's not going to touch the solder again. So just heat him up from the outside. If I had a smaller iron, like one of these, you know, I would just drop it in there and just, you know, wait. But I like using this chunky one just for, because it does all the other stuff I need it to do. I'm just going to half fill it. I don't want to fill it too much and have the solder flow out the side. Ah, there we go hot enough now and you see the smoke come out you know you're you know you're at melting point so I'm just gonna hold that in there for a second and that should grab by now and the main thing is I've got a little bit of solder on the outside here but that's not that's not where it um, has to catch in it's got to be on that uh, fish hook type thing there just make sure she's cold enough to not melt the casing and just get something like this uh, the red always goes on the flat side it's, you can confirm that with the plus there but yeah it's always on the flat side and this is why I took a little bit more um, um, of the casing off Once that click you want to hear, once that click's done, then you're good. Just do the other side the same.
there we go. And that's it.